Elden Ring The Shadow of the Erd Tree is releasing on June 21st of this year, and with it comes a brand new story in the lands between. The trailer for the upcoming DLC just dropped, and I want to go over all the little details we could see from the gameplay, and go over what exactly The Shadow of the Erd Tree is about, plus going over some speculation for what the story could be. Of course, the trailer was only a few minutes long, and it appears to be the first of at least two trailers, so we don't have a huge amount of information, but we do have some. Let's start with the official description of the DLC. The Land of Shadow, a place obscured by the Erd Tree, where the goddess Marika first set foot. A land purged in an unused battle, set ablaze by Mesmer's flame. It was the land that Mikola departed, divesting himself of his flesh, his strength, his lineage, of all things golden. And now Mikola awaits the return of his promised lord. Guided by the Empyrean Mikola, players are beckoned to the Land of Shadow, a place obscured by the Erd Tree where the goddess Marika first set foot. In the trailer it mentions touching the Withered Hand and it shows Mikola inside of the Mogwin Palace. Several people mentioned it as a joke, but of course it looks likely the DLC will start by interacting with Mikola right here. You see at the very end of the trailer the blonde haired Mikola asking you for help and asking you to touch the Withered Arm. The official description also mentions Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree takes place beyond the lands between to explore the Land of Shadow, a completely new world in Elden Ring. So the DLC will have its entire new section of the game with its own map and everything else. Players can seamlessly travel back and forth between the two maps, interspersed with diverse situations and meticulous dungeons where menacing enemies roam. In these strange new lands, players can discover dark secrets of the world as they meet others who follow in Mikola's footsteps with ulterior motives. We saw a lot of new enemies in the trailer as well, with around 15 different enemies, many of them looking like new boss fights, including this red-haired enemy here who appears to be the main antagonist of the DLC. It's not mentioned in the trailer, but we do have a confirmation on who this is. He is called Mesmer the Impaler. It's unsure as to who exactly he is, but the snake part of him would suggest a relation to Rikard, either a child of, or he could be a child of Radagon and Renala like Rikard is, so they could be half-brothers or something similar, but that's just speculation. One Reddit user did give a very good possibility for who Mikola could be in relation to Mesmer, and it does mention in the official description he divested himself from his flesh, his strength, and his lineage in all things golden, meaning that Mikola and Mesmer could be the same person. So... The theory is Mikola is holding back Mesmer the Impaler from entering the lands between and usurping it for conquest, and Mesmer is simply Mikola who's been corrupted by Mog and the formless mother, though the good version will be a disembodied spirit, not the physical form which Mesmer is, which is why you fight him. So the DLC could simply be we need to sever the connection between the realm of shadow and the lands between which will destroy the Erd Tree and all forms of grace, or we can side ourselves with Mesmer try to conquer the universe, but either way the change won't affect the ending and we can still go on to kill the Elden Beast. Now those are just a few theories on what the DLC could be about, but I think it's a very likely scenario for the DLC, but ultimately we'll just have to wait and see. We have some more speculation from the DLC featured our image from the wiki. The upcoming expansion for Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree released featured art that showcases a torrent like horse being ridden by an unknown character, possibly Mikola or Queen Marika. The character is navigating an expansive field filled with what appears to be an abundance of harvestable wheat. The prevailing speculation is that the character riding the torrent-like horse is more likely to be Mikola, not only because such character is surrounded by abundance, but also because such character's hairstyle is exactly the same as Mikola as shown in the opening cinematics. The Earth Tree featured in the covered art is also bleeding gold, which means that it could be post-destruction that happens after the ending of the game, Zooming into the image, it seems to show ashes coming down from the tree branches, so may both be a post-burning scenario or pre-breaking scenario when the Golden Order was first corrupted. The Bleeding Earth Tree seems to be strangled by another Twisted Tree as well. Some speculation is that the Twisted Tree is a, an extension of Godwin's roots. The sky above the two trees is also sunless, and a possible eclipse has befallen the lands between. But again, that's just speculation. What else can we see from the trailer though? One interesting thing is you see the player using kicks, something you don't see in the base game, and a cool new element by the looks of it in the DLC. Margit looks to be returning in the DLC, I'd recognize those feet anywhere. Another cool thing is a Deathblight Swamp, that is where you have the Hippotype creature to fight, looks like a cool boss fight. 
They appear to be adding, finally, the game's most requested move, the Crucible Nightwings, for the Tarnish to use. What else will the DLC add then? Shadow of the Third Tree adds new weapons like the crossbow, equipment, we see multiple armors in the game in the trailer, weapon skills and magic not found in the base game as well, along with new enemies, boss encounters and plot lines to further increase your freedom. So we can play new quest lines and create brand new builds using the stuff in the DLC. Well guys, that is pretty much all we've seen in the new trailer for the Elden Ring DLC. Let me know if there's anything I didn't mention from the trailer, and also let me know what your speculation is for the story of Shadow of the Earth Tree, and specifically what the relationship between Mikola and Mesimer will be. Like and subscribe for more Elden Ring leading up to and including the DLC, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. Blood of your fellows. They are truly faithful. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war. to know just what kind Mikola is doing here. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death in the embrace of restless flesh. Come now, touch the withered arm, and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. May we meet again.